Wait, yeah, you're now right, recording. Right. Hey, what's good tonight? <laughs> okay. <laughs> So we are going to be using a mixture of hers and mine just because she's kind of on the, the, the outs of having stuff and not having stuff. She has this Magic Nude L'Oreal Paris in the color Fair Skin 320 Natural Beige. So this stuff is almost gone, so I'm gonna mix it with my Stay Matte Rimmel. This stuff is not very matte, but it goes on super silky and it's awesome. So we're just gonna use a little bit of a pump on that and then I'm gonna mix it with this and we're gonna apply it all over her face. So like it doesn't, said, it goes on like, Wow, really light and then it like dries kind of more like powdery. And I'm gonna hope that this is a good enough color. For her. We finished yeah. her foundation, so we're gonna do a highlighter now, and I'm using this Age Rewind Instant thing. It's in the color light. It's not because, it's not, I knew she was gonna say that. <laughs> it's not Age Rewind, it's just really good. And it has like a spongy top, so it goes on really nice, and we're just gonna do her under eyes. <laughs> I'm just gonna use my finger and to dab it in, because you don't wanna take a lot away. I've said that before. So you're just gonna use your finger just to kind of keep it on there without taking too much. So now I'm gonna take, um, this is probably a little bit too light for her, but because we're doing her highlight, it's gonna be fine. It's the Rimmel Stay Matte, and again, these are all drugstore products. I have my sister and my mother in the background over there, and they're making a lot of noise. So that's what you are This is a lot of noise. I'm just kidding. We're on a Same thing. Oh. Okay, now I'm just gonna set the rest of her makeup so that it doesn't go anywhere. And I'm just using any old powder. I have a Revlon one right here, but one that kind of matches her skin tone with a big fluffy brush and just going everywhere else that I didn't use for the concealer. Okay, so we're gonna go on to blush, and this is by Jessie Girl, Jess, Jessie's Girl. I've never heard of this, but it's a drugstore. It's a drugstore product. You can get it at Rite Aid. It's a uh, in eye dust. In sparkle red, I took the thing off. Oh, I was gonna say, I was like, this doesn't look sparkle red at all. It looks very, very pink. It'll last for about seven years. I'm just gonna <laughs> show you. Okay. Okay, now we're gonna move on to some bronzer. We're gonna we'll use that. it all over to kind of give her a little bit more of a sun-kissed glow. I'm gonna use one of my brushes because we just used this one for that Jessie Girl and I'd rather not have that pink all over her face, so. Just using a little bit more bronzer and I'm gonna accentuate, I'm gonna contour her face. Forehead, down her nose, and on her cheek. And we're just gonna add a highlighter to her cheekbones. And normally she has one, but it's out. So we're just gonna use mine. It's a hard candy honeymoon. And we're just gonna do just to the tops of her cheeks. Next we have to week doing what? Mm -hmm. Shut up for a minute. <laughs> two. And now we're gonna move on to eyes. What would you like to do for eyes? Nothing like too intense. She has some really pretty colors and she already does a really good job applying all of her eyeshadows. So it's not like she needs me to tell her how to do it. Mm -hmm. So what we're gonna do, because uh, <laughs> we're gonna do like a gold brown mix because it will match her outfit. And because it fits. <laughs> so first of all, I'm gonna start out by using my Naked Basics palette and it's just all matte. So I'm going to use this as a base. So I went ahead and did her eyeshadow base. I just used the color Foxy, which is this yellowish color for all over. And then I used the color Naked too. It's just a very light neutral brown for her lid and her upper crease. So I'm gonna actually do one more layer of dark brown and I'm just keeping with the same palette. It's the faint color and I'm just gonna put that primarily in her crease and above, not on the lid because we're gonna do something else with that. So I'm taking the same brush I had, it's just a round angled brush and I'm gonna do that for her. Okay, 
So now that that's done, I'm gonna go ahead and take this CoverGirl Bombshell Shine Shadow. Looks like this. There's like three or four different colors. They're super inexpensive. I think they're like five bucks or less, um, like at any drugstore, but they're so shiny. I wore this on my wedding day and it was awesome and it doesn't crease, which is really cool. You don't need a ton. I'm just gonna use my fingers to put it on because it is like a cream base. So I'm just gonna pat it onto her eyelid. So this color is good on its own, but um, we're gonna add a powder shadow on top of it to set it to make sure it doesn't crease because a lot of times you can get like, like you'll close your eye after halfway through the day and you can see a line of legit <laughs> eyeshadow. But I'm gonna go in with this Urban Decay Half-Baked Eyeshadow and it's beautiful gold color. And it's really similar to the CoverGirl cream shadow we just used, but it's a powder, so when we put it on, it won't, um, it'll make the cream stay. And I'm just gonna use the same brush as I did before. I'll just clean it before I use it for another eyeshadow look. So I'm just gonna pat it and dab it onto the rest. What do you do for your eyebrows? I usually just give them a little bit of like. Okay, so Katie has a really convenient way of doing it, which is um, perfectly fine. She has a little eyebrow brush here, and there's a name for these, I can't remember what the name for it is. It's by Maybelline, it's just a brown, deep brown color, but she only uses the top because it's gone. <laughs> Somehow, <laughs> this happened. <laughs> so, and, and to uh, do the rest, it's just another CoverGirl Perfect Point Plus, except this is espresso, and it's just one of those wind up ones again and uh, she goes ahead and fills them in, so let's do it. And we're gonna move on to eyeliner now. What do you have for eyeliner? <laughs> I use the same thing I use for my eyebrows. <laughs> oh, and I have a liquid one too, don't you like those? I do like liquid. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go in and do the eyeliner. So did very basic eyeliner. And we used a liquid liner. It was a, I think it's, it's a brown or black? Brown. Brown, yeah, it's like a nice espresso brown. Um, so now we're gonna move on to mascara. She has a mascara that she loves, so it is... Oh, that's what you, that, that's usually. No, yeah. I have the unique, the unique. Oh, I was gonna say, I was like, well, that's what I use. Oh, so I'll just use this for now. Okay. Like, yeah. So we're gonna use this. It's a CoverGirl Super Thick Lash. I really think that because my other sister, Maria, always used this when she was growing up and her eyelashes were like ridiculous, that we all use this because I use this, Susie uses this, Kate uses this, Jill, do you use this? Jill uses this, and my mom has one as well. So, thank you, Maria. And when you do this, you wanna do it, go to the very base of your lash line and go towards your nose. It will keep the eyelashes a lot more straight and less everywhere. Way bigger. Okay. Maybe so because you're doing this. Okay, the last thing is lippies. So, I don't even know what to use. We have so many options, I just don't even know what to choose. All right, we're gonna, we're gonna try this. If it doesn't look weird, we can always take it off. Or if it looks weird, we can take it off, but. Okay, let me get a huge ass lip. Uh, huge ass lip. Sometimes I feel like I have to downplay them, but I guess that's not Okay, so just. After we do that bright purple thing, if that's too much, I'm gonna go back over it, and it's a um, L'Oreal Saucy Mauve 560. We're gonna keep going. <laughs> she has such big lips and basically the only one of all of us that has nice lips, so we're gonna keep going. Yeah, right. So we have, um, I bought this the other day and it's fun. It's really intense though, so it's called Maison. It's from NYX. Again, it's matte, and we're just gonna see what it looks like to put that over it. It's different. It's not what you would normally wear. <laughs> Whatever, it's But fun. it's different. And once it wears off, she'll probably put something that she does like on. Okay, so that's basically it. Honestly, it looks it. really nice regardless. And thank you for watching. And look for the next sister coming up. <laughs> thank you. You look at the freaking cinnamon things I made. Yes. Yeah. Remember, I said I was so proud of my pie crust. Screw the pie crust. Oh God, you can't hurt this. Sometimes can't hurt this like, old bird. P T L. You're locked. So you might not want to do too much. Gross. I don't know. I found this. I bought this at Marvin. Better. Let me stop. Let me stop.